Galloway. Got it, Skipper. Yeah, I'll bring him. He's my partner, after all. What have we got? New case. White female dumped in plain sight in the grass at the end of Hill Street. Hats are all over it. Captain's trying to fend him off. That sounds awfully similar. The first rule of police work is make no assumptions until you've seen the evidence. Skipper wants you to have your newspaper face on, college boy. I think I know the place where they found the lady. It overlooks Sunset Boulevard. Let's go. You know, I, I like the partner I had last time a little bit better than this one. This guy seems... I mean, he got punched in the face in the last video. Anyways, welcome back to more L.A. Moore. I'm, or L.A. Moore. That's what I'm start calling it. M.O. A R E. Yeah, I'm just kind of cranking through these desk missions. I don't know what's uh, what's gonna happen next. What's he doing? Is he driving? I always like to kind of drive to the first thing, you know, just to kind of give it just a little bit something different for you guys. Oh shit! Get off me! Did a decent job on the Henry case, Phil. Not bad for your first time at bat. Thanks, Rusty. Don't go getting ahead of yourself. That's one clearance under your belt. Now it's a new day with a new dead lady that needs our attention. No assumptions until we see the evidence, right? Right. See, I knew you were faster. Well, it's above me. Might get along after all. It's above me. How do I get up there? How do I get up there? Okay. Um, I gotta get around this somehow. This is actually... Is this, like, behind where... Woman like crashed into the Coca Cola thing or the Cola King sign or whatever that was. You know what the hell with this? I have a better idea. I'm gonna let him drive. Can you drive to this one? Just to save on time. Now, boys. Boys, you know as much as I do. I'll be holding a press conference once the autopsy's been completed. I have two of my finest investigators on the case, fresh from bringing down the sword of justice on the crazed sex... Captain, aren't Olympus. there similarities between this murder and the murder of Celine Henry? And of Elizabeth Short, for that so you matter. you don't believe there's a crazed sex killer at large boys, preying on women? Boys, be sensible. We have the greatest police force in all the world, with the greatest scientific investigators at our disposal. How can any killer continue to be that? Be advised. We keep the gas chamber at San Quentin primed for the sons of King who continue to believe they can take a life in the city of Memphis. Yeah, right. Any new leads in the Dahlia case? Run along, boys, and let these officers get to work. We have God's work to do here, and it can't be delayed. What do we have, Captain? Another woman sacrificed. Speak to Carruthers. I want daily reports, gentlemen. Here we get another one. I feel like I'm really tracking a serial killer. It's always a woman, too. That's the best, the worst part about this. Murder victim. 
Looked like she was strangled. Look at the little, little neck. Your mark is very. Yeah, distinctive. I was about to say it looks like a rope. I'll do some comparisons back at the lab and get back to you. Well, let's check her arms. Let's be the non-perv thing. You know what I'm saying? Another ring missing. What's this mark? Cut on the finger. Fourth finger, left hand. A wedding or engagement ring, violently removed. We're essentially doing what Dexter does. Or at least what he used to do in like the first few seasons before the show went AWOL. Looks like she was tied up. It does at first, but that would leave a mark on her other wrist too. I think her watch might have been torn off. Okay, so we got m missing jewelry. Uh, let me check. We got patterns on her chest. Case. Looks like. Was it reported in the press? Sure was. Every detail a copycat would want was there in the story. Hard to think that's it for her. That's exhibit A. Steps over. Here's C. He, he takes the money. Well, we have a name. Can you run Deirdre Muller by R&I? Back in a second. What's just a parent-teacher association? Just a wad of fives right here. The motive was robbery. Why not take the money? Okay, let's, let's try to find B. I don't know where that was. We got A and C. Watch him step over the body. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Detectives, R&I says that Deidre Mahler of 130 North Bonnie Bray was reported missing this morning by her husband, Hugo Mahler. What'd I tell you? Just grab the husband, take him downtown, and work him over. We could have this wrapped up by lunchtime. What about not making assumptions and going on the evidence? Wait, so I heard the noise like we finished it, so I don't even need to check anything else. I think that's it. Let me wait. Yeah, let me let me talk. That's like the only thing I haven't done yet. Similar remote. To what? The Dahlia? I don't think so. Celine Henry. That's a closed case. This is probably another sad sack who lost his temper with a fraud he wouldn't put out. Are you a suspect, Rusty? Watch your mouth, Phelps. All I'm saying is we got enough to do without reopening closed cases. Talk me through it, Mal. Severely battered, on display. Footprints would indicate that she has been stomped. Size of the footprints would seem to indicate a smallish men's shoe. What size shoe did Mendez wear? You finished? No, I'm not. At a glance, I would say strangulation is the cause of death. I'll need to do further tests for semen. Angry boyfriend. If they were married, they'd be at home. Not humping out here in Lover's Lane. That's it? Well, shit. I feel like I'm missing something. Nothing else is really sticking out, but... I don't know. The music stopped. I think we're really good. Oh, wait. He's, he's headed back to the car anyways. Yeah. So let's go ahead and get in the car. Let's go to this next place. Uh, the one we just marked on here. Hang on. The Mahler Residence. Mahler? How far away is that? It looks like it could be a little bit further than I think. I'm gonna let him drive. Cause that's what I do. You gotta skip some of that stuff. You're behind the wheel. Maybe we can finally get a witness or something. Anything. Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. Is your father home? He'll be home soon. He's been out looking for mommy. What's your name, miss? Michelle Eloise Mahler. Can we come in? I suppose so. 
Thank you. Could you have a seat for me, Michelle? We're going to have a look around. So wait, you're just allowed to smoke in people's homes like this? It's kind of weird. I mean, it was the 1940s, so maybe shit was a little bit different. There's always something- oh. Uh, let's pick up the carrot? <laughs> Incidental. What about the knife? What about the knife? What? Junk. There's nothing there worth anything. Are you kidding? I'm looking at fruits and vegetables in this bitch. I don't think so. That's it? Call on the counter rain? I don't know. Oh, here's a note. Hey, we're on to something now. Don't I take a smarter man than me to get that. Looks like something birthday. I don't know what that's really said though. I'm I haven't found anything. Kind of check in the bedroom where shit's about to go down. Dear diary, I murdered my this mom is today. No? I'm striking out right now. I ain't found I haven't found anything. There's gotta be some oh wait, what was that? A violin. It's just hers, I don't know. I mean I'm not really seeing much of anything. Nothing else in this room. Let's check the other room right here. This is where it might actually hit the fan. Elgin wristwatch. Probably the same one snatched from her body. And the ring? Looks like a ring case. Yep. No sign of a wedding. What you know about it, Mr. Watch and Ring? And let's check uh, anything else. Nope, that's it. That's only two things. Can we search anything else? Oh shit, size Look, eight. Size eight. Maybe they got something different on there. Yep. Size 8 again. I have no idea what that even means, but... Uh oh, that's the noise. That is the noise that, like, we've got everything. So let's go interrogate little girl here. And see what happens. Is this about mommy? Daddy is trying to find her. Please tell me she's okay. I'm sorry to have to tell you this, Michelle, but your mother is dead. <laughs> Do you think you could answer a few questions for us? Try. Some of your mother's jewelry was missing. Can you describe her things? Ring, watch. I never paid much attention to that stuff. I feel like she's telling the truth. I'm gonna go with that. I know it's painful, Michelle. But this may be important. She wore a wedding ring? Mommy chose it herself. A rose gold wedding band and a matching diamond and ruby engagement ring. She wore a watch? Yes. A yellow gold Elgin watch. Daddy bought it for her birthday. We had a fight. It was kind of a makeup present. <laughs> When did you last see your mother? Yesterday afternoon. I went to a dance at Belmont High. Mommy was supposed to pick me up, but she didn't show. So what did you do then? I was upset. Daddy came instead. 
I'm doubting this. I'm doubting it. I don't have evidence. I'm gonna doubt it, though. So you were hanging around the school for quite a while. What happened with your father? I don't know. I called and called and finally he answered. He came straight away then. Oh, we got the husband's alibi. Your mom and dad are uh, happily married? What are you saying? Of course they are. She's looking away. It, it's almost too easy now that I don't have anything. I know she's lying, but I don't have evidence. So I'm going to go with doubt. Process they weren't happy, were they? of elimination. Did your father ever hit your mother? Just the once. She said she would leave him if he ever did it again. He bought her a brooch pin to make up for it. And he always wore her golden butterfly. Thanks, Miss Muller. You've been very brave. Hey! What this? Daddy, Holy I'm shit, it's a dude from Heroes! I'll talk to the police. Daddy, mommy is gone. Go to your room, young lady. She's not even out of school. You can't come in here interrogating her like she's your some kind of- Your wife was found murdered this morning. Found? What? The... But, but she only- We have some questions that we would like to ask you. Sure, yeah. Yeah, I'll do my best. Wait a minute, we're doing a double interrogation? This looks like the guy who could read other people's thoughts and the show Heroes like a long time ago. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know yet. What size shoe do you wear, Mr. Muller? Why do you ask? It's routine, sir. Simple process of elimination. Nines, I think. You know what? Bullshit, it says. It says eight on your work boots, bitch. I Why you. are you lying to me, Mr. Muller? Why would I lie to you at a time like this? Yeah, what about them size eight? I'm gonna plant one in your ass. That's funny. The work boots we found here are size eights. Why lie about it if you've got nothing to hide? Because I always get teased about the size of my feet. <laughs> you know, small feet, small... Always been true in my experience. Damn. Missing persons report. You phoned in a missing persons report this morning? Yeah, that's right. Uh, my wife didn't come home last night. She left around... She left around 9.30. Uh, Michelle was out of dance. She called me to let me know that Deidre didn't turn up. You know what? I don't know. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna doubt it. I don't really have evidence. Did your wife ever go out by herself? To bars? Nightclubs? No. What are you, what are you suggesting? You suggesting my wife's loose? <laughs> now is not the time for you to be pushing me, mister. Your daughter said you were having an argument. We argued about who would pick up Michelle. I worked a full day. I wanted to come home, put my feet up. Oh, I got it right. I actually thought I had fucked that up for a minute the way he was talking to me. All right, alibi for Hugo. So you were here all night. You stayed in while your wife Michelle went out already to pick like ran him out, I think. Yes, that's correct. No, that's not true cuz Michelle was already talking about what her dad was doing. You should come clean. Maybe it comes up as an option. There's something going on. I told you I was here. Were you saying I wasn't? Yeah, husband's alibi. I remember that popping up. That's the only reason I remembered it. So why did you take so long to answer the phone when your daughter called? Okay, I went out for a while. I was, I was driving around. It's my way of relaxing. History of violence. Oh, shit. Your wife was beaten and then strangled. In your case, you have no alibi and a history of violence towards your wife. That's not, that's not true, God damn it! He's lying. I wish I, I really wish I could ask the community. He's not telling the truth. I feel like I got enough evidence to back it up. Cause I got everything so far in every crime scene. I'm gonna go with a lie. I'm gonna see what my options are. It is true, Hugo. You're a violent man. You try to keep a lid on it at home, but sometimes you lost control. Your daughter and your wife we're scared of you. 
You don't know anything about me. Oh, shit. That's not gonna... The rope pattern won't matter. No, on the watch and rings. Men's footprints, nope. Size of the boots, no. The, I'm, I'm gonna try a butterfly brooch. That's the only thing I can think of. I know about the golden butterfly, Hugo. And how you bought your wife off the last time you heard her. She liked to spend money, all right? Dresses, uh, jewelry, her hair. It drove me goddamn crazy. Do I look like a Rockefeller? Nobody likes a cheapskate, Hugo. Getting hostile with us is a very bad idea, Hugo. I'm no murderer. Make some arrangements for your daughter, and then present yourself to Central Station for questioning. You gotta be kidding me, Phelps. Put the cuffs on him. This is an outrage! I didn't kill my wife! Your daughter is in the next room, Muller, so I'm giving you a break. Don't make me change my mind, and don't make me come looking for you. We should go back in there and bust his ass. One, we need to break his alibi. Check phone records, canvas the neighbors. Two, we have motive of domestic violence, which probably goes for half the men in L.A. Three, we have no evidence tying to the crime scene. Hello? Detective! What the fuck? Let's make a phone call first and then we'll talk to the neighbor. Phelps, badge 1247. How can I help, Detective? I need an address on a Belmont High School. Checking for you, Detective. Belmont High, 1575 West 2nd Street. Thanks. Let's go talk to the neighbor really That's quick. The guy. And then I'll, I'll probably stop the video just because I don't... If they're past 20 minutes, I, I get nervous. Yes, ma'am. Because people don't have good internet all over the world, you know? news over the radio. And you can help us with our inquiries? Yes, sir. They had a row last night. I heard Mrs. Muller screaming. Did you see Mrs. Muller come home late last night at all? No, not at all. I did see Mr. Muller put something in the incinerator earlier this morning, though. I told you he was our guy. Now let's get this bum downtown and into a cell. Look, there he is now. Uh oh. Come here, bitch. No, get off me. Move out of the way, cars. Move out of the way. Where the fuck did Don't he go? This. Step away from the incinerator. Come here, bitch. Don't let him get away. Okay, but no shit. It's that dude from Heroes, man. Hey. That's so funny. Ah, I got dirty. There he is. See him? $30 suit. Come on, you bastard. I'm trying to tackle you. I'm trying to tackle you. <laughs> Inspect the incinerator. What the fuck was he doing back there? Trying to burn something. Oh, his shoes. Too bad we already examined that. <gasps> this doesn't look good, Hugo. Bloody shoes! I can, I can explain the blood. Get him booked in at Central, officer. Then put him in an interview room. We'll be speaking with him later. And inform the cat. Yes, sir, detective. Is there someone you can call, miss? I don't... It's home and... You need somewhere to stay, Michelle. You have other family? Grandparents? Aunts or uncle? Call Aunt Helen, but she lives in Bakersfield and... Call her. We're gonna get someone down here from Juvenile Hall to talk to you in the meantime. That's fucked up. You gotta up. get some uniforms down Her here. Her mom clean is up, murdered. Take care of the kid. Her her mom is murdered, and the husband probably did it. Belmont House School. Here we come. All right, guys. I love you all. Thanks for the likes. Galloway, if you want more today? Just keep it up. Homicide division. Badge number five six four. Go ahead, detective unit. Can we get Ray Pinker and a technical services team to a house at one thirty North Bonnie what? Bray Street? Send someone down from Juvenile Hall to look after a young lady. Got it, KGPL. So he can't drive this time, but I gotta do it. 
I guess he's too busy calling in the report. I'm at least gonna get there for this video ends. I'm surprised you got it happen. I didn't make the husband. Always make the husband. Nine times out of ten is the closest person to the victim who does the deed. God knows I've wanted to kill some wives in my day. Lex Parsimonii. What? The law of parsimony. Whoa there! It really doesn't matter if I crash. The law oh, of calls parsimony. property damage, that's about Occam's it. Razor. The simplest explanation is most likely the correct one. Emmy, it's the first season since fabric rationing's over. We have to go. I told you, I can't Saturday. I'm busy. Busy where? You're going on another drive with Baby Gardner, aren't you? So what if I am? Go, Phelps. I'll take the car and see if I can. Son of a ball. bitch. This dude ain't playing under the bleachers. Come on. Come on, dude. What? Oh, track it. Track it. Here we go, here we go, here we go. He's about to get away in that car. Oh no, I'm about to say he ain't doing shit. Come on, I'm not getting the option to press X for tackle yet. Where's he going? Where's he going? There he is, officer. Son of a bitch, there he goes. He's Why fast as fuck, too. Look at him. You would think, detective, since I'm chasing people down, they would have, like, you know, running shoes. Having to run in these. Can't imagine they're too good. That podiatrist have whooped that ass. Oh, he's getting, he's getting sluggish. Look at him. He's getting sluggish. He didn't need his weenies. Come here, bitch. No. Man, I'm so close. Come here, buddy. Come here. Eleven K, go ahead. Eleven K, see the janitor. A green nineteen forty six coupe registered to a Mrs. Hugo Moeller has been found in the parking lot adjoining the Belmont High School and Blaine Field. Eleven K, code two. What's your name? Who's asking? We can do this the easy way or the hard way. Name's Eli Rooney. You've been in trouble with the law before, Eli? Some. What are you doing around here? I like to keep an eye on the children. Strictly paternal, is it, Eli? Don't sass me, boy. A woman was abducted here last night, Eli, and murdered. And I would love to make you for that, you okay motherfucker. Well, I wouldn't know nothing about that. A woman, you say? I like them a little younger than that. Turn out your pockets, Eli. Now, why would I do that? Because I'm about to break your fucking skull, Eli. You're under arrest, Eli. You're in very deep trouble. Get some backup down here, Rusty. We need to get this one downtown and into a cell. I'll tell them we got a kitty raper coming in. They can roll out the red carpet. 